Hello, Scapers. 9 HP here, and Mac. He also has 9 lives. Just like 9 HP. Welcome to my Slayer Guide for Skillers. Instead of making a long 15 minute guide showing every method in game, I decided to make a detailed clip uh, for each one individually. This not only makes things faster, I feel, but allows you to learn each method at your own pace. Um, so just pause as needed. Also, the D&Ds will be listed on the table of contents in order from dailies, weeklies, and monthlies. Um, and that can be found once this guide begins, and I will also add it to the description below. I will use 9HP to show how to safely do god statues with recoils and Sarah Brews at the end of this video, as I know that confuses some, and by doing one thing incorrectly, you could level your skiller's combat level. So, good luck lads, and let's begin. Alrighty, we've made it to the god statues. Alright, first off you'll want to buy a amulet of fury and a blood necklace shard. This should cost you a little under 10 mil, and it's worth noting that after you combine the two, the amulet will become untradeable. Um, once combined, it has a passive effect that will activate every 15 seconds, causing 200 to 500 damage while healing you for the same amount. Uh, this lasts for 60k combat hits until you will need to refill it for 1 mil. Sarah Bruise comes at 6 and 4, and the recoils to reflect the damage. Sarah Bruise will heal you for 1,000. Um, yet raise your defense to 2 while lowering your other combat stats 1 through 4. With the exception of summoning, of course. Um, so you want to select anything but this prayer right here. So any of the three Slayer options will give you Slayer speed. So select this first one. And see it says I need to build 5 high and then 3 low. So the max of 5 and lowest of 3. So we'll raise this one all the way to 5, these all to 3, and I'll put this one up. You click with the gnome here, it'll tell you which ones you did correctly and which ones still need fixed. So we simply need to move these up, and this should make it green. Yep, green around the gnome like that. Means you did it correctly, click the gnome. You guys will begin. Note, this only gives you the construction of speed, but it's a pretty nice jump. So, yep, see 31k there in construction, so not bad at all. And now you're going to want to take everything out of your inventory, because this is the part where Slayer comes in. So we're first going to make this amulet, and once you craft it, it becomes untradeable. And this should make the kill about two times faster at least, uh, they really are worth it if you, if you have the money. Alright, so we click the statue, and it will aggro when I click this. So you click the Cerebru, lowering your combat stats, and right here, this is what you want to see, that shield. Once you hit that shield with no damage, that means you did it correctly. Now, as you can see, when I attack, the bow on and auto retaliate off, do no damage. So right now, you just sit back and watch your health, and he will slowly start killing himself. Watch up here, and that will get healed also by the amulet itself after the 15 seconds. And don't be afraid to use those Ceres. All right. 17.2k Slayer so speed. You can do that times four a month. It's a skiller. As you can see, you do it right. No combat experience. That's all there is to it. 